Hello, um, welcome to a new video. Uh, today we are going to be making some no-bake dog treats. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a fairly easy recipe. Um, literally two ingredients, you could add a third if you want to, optional third, but two ingredients um, and the only pain is getting them to set. So let's look at all the things that you need to do this recipe. Okay, so I have filled my work top with everything you need to do. So a saucepan, small to medium, depending on the size of batch you want to go for. So this isn't my smallest saucepan, it's the next one. Don't worry, it is clean. It's just slightly stained from me cooking buckwheat. You need something to stir with. You need peanut butter and coconut oil. Those are the two main ingredients. You can optionally add cinnamon. Um, I tend to, but you don't have to, literally, I don't, I won't be using all of that and that's it. Cinnamon is safe for dogs in moderation. So it's up to you. You will then need ice cube trays. They can be dog themed ones or they can be whatever you've got. I tend to use a mixture of them because I tend to bulk cook these. Um, then these are optional. I recommend using these. Um, trays and cooling racks because they make storage a lot easier. So you need a cup. Actually, it doesn't actually matter what measurements you use. The whole concept is it's 50-50 of each ingredient. So as long as you're measuring, it doesn't matter how much you use. So open up your ingredients. Scoop it out. So I've roughly got a cup there and I'm just going to drop it straight into the saucepan. Okay. I'm going to turn the saucepan on to a low to medium. So it's on the fourth mark out of nine um, and then I'm gonna dish out the same amount of peanut butter literally only have peanut butter in my house for dog stuff medicine dog treats Kongs peanut butter is my go-to oh, stinks say that's roughly the same amount and I'm gonna splodge it in uh, I don't want to use my fingers so as you can see the coconut oil is pretty much already melted and you just have to wait for them to kind of combine so stir them but you are just kind of stirring, making sure it doesn't stick to the bottom. To just stir to combine. Now why I really like these treats is, one, they're good in the summer um, because they're kept in the fridge, so they're nice and cool. And if you don't know already, ice is actually not good for dogs. You're not supposed to give them frozen things. Um, because the shocking temperature makes their bodies like overreact um, so these are nice and keep them cool and also it makes their fur and skin so nice like Coda though I hate to say it is almost two now and people always ask me after stroking her if she's still a puppy because she's still got the softness of a puppy's fur um, 
and in my experience every dog loves peanut butter and loves coconut oil so it's a win-win situation and we are done so just take it off the heat so far i've literally just put this cooling rack it's actually from my bottom oven in the fridge so this already means i can put some treats here to cool and treats here to cool and i'm actually going to form a third layer okay so there's another ingredient uh no tool that i forgot to mention um a measuring drug drug jug um <laughs> you're not actually going to be measuring anything this is just to make the pouring from that into those slightly easier so get your lovely concoction and as carefully as you can pour it into the jug okay now I'm going to put this back on the oven because I might make another batch after this, depending how many of these fill, because I have no judgment of size or anything like that. Okay, so these are to make these easier to carry because I am clumsy and carrying a tray like this, I tend to spill a lot. So, it won't fit that way, so we'll just fit it here. So you don't actually have to be like baking trays if you've just got a tray of some sort. Oh look, how perfectly they get filled in. <laughs> okay, now we take our lovely little spoon thing and tidy up a bit. There we go, not perfectly even, not perfectly tidy, but perfect in her eyes. Sorry about the floor, I've just done um, a wash of guinea pig stuff and <laughs> I shook the stuff out in here because it's two degrees outside and I wasn't, wasn't willing to do that. Okay, so then we do it again. So we've got some paw prints, we've got some unicorns and we'll go for some diamond because I think that's what's going to fit on this tray. Okay. The paw print ones are good. Um, I prefer the paw prints to the bone ones. Oh, that's going to leak over the edge. Um, because the bone ones, when you're trying to get them out of the tray, break really easily. Um, whereas these are just solid blocks, so they really don't break very easily. Okay, put a little bit more in this end one. There we go. Now on to the unicorn. Again, these unicorns are really good. Um, I know the dog ice trays I got off Amazon. Um... And that's my mix done. Um, the unicorns must be from like Home Bargains or something like, or B&M or somewhere. Um, and then this came with the fridge. Ikea, Ikea. Literally just use whatever. I mean, I don't tend to use ice trays for me. I have reusable ice cubes if I ever use ice. Um, so these are literally just for her. But look, there's no sign in here that they've been used for dog treats. So you can use whatever you want. So I'm going to make up a qu another quick batch. Okay, so I could have probably shared the remaining mix over these two trays and just had smaller sticks. But actually, I prefer these to that because if these break, you still have a decent um, treat left. Whereas these, the... Um, bits of the star fall off really easily and it's just messy. So I'm going to go move this over 
Um, I've not put this one on a tray simply because I didn't know where I put the other tray. And also this is made of, I'm not going to show you, but sturdier um, silicone. So I'm not as likely to spill as much. Okay, so that's all those treats. So I'm, um, can't really do anything else. It takes about 24 hours for the treats to set. Give or take, generally give, um, depending on how thick the, sorry Coda's licking my trousers, um, <laughs> how thick the ice cube tray is and how much it filled up, because uh, that would take longer. Um, so, but I'll probably check them about this time tomorrow, see how they are. Once they're all sorted, I'll get back to you with popping them out and how we store them and such. So I'll see you then. Bye. The next day. Okay, so it's been 22 hours actually. Um, I've just got back from a food shop and actually realised I need to use the space the treats are in. So I checked on them earlier than I would usually and actually they're all completely set. So I'll show you. Here they are. So completely set. So we are going to now pop them out and store them. <laughs> so I have this really cute jar with paw print that I tend to keep most of my treats in. Um, but I'll probably need to go into other jars. Um, I think this jar was either given to me as a present or I got it from like TK Maxx or somewhere like that. But we're going to start with the big ones and then try and fill in with the smaller ones, see how we do. Please ignore the mess of the background. Um, I haven't tidied in there and code has been destroying toys. Fairly clean. And now Coda's favourite part. <laughs> and I'll do the rest. last ones in the actual plastic ice cube tray um, I've put in the freezer because I don't think they're solid enough to pop out I was really struggling if you may have seen um, so I'll put them in the freezer for a couple hours check again but the haul isn't looking too big jars or me large jar and a medium jar of treats um, I've got room in the fridge for that one so that's fine but I might keep these as spares in the freezer so when this one gets more empty I can move these over you need to keep them in the cool fridge or freezer because the coconut oil um, has a low melting point um, at room temperature unless you're in England right now um, they will melt they start to melt a little bit when you pick them up sometimes so fridge or freezer storage but yeah that's it I hope you enjoyed. I mean, Coda is enjoying licking the trays. But let's see if she'd like one of the actual treats. Coda! Have a little unicorn. Do you miss? Sit. Good girl. Oh, yeah. And it's gone. <laughs> Uh, thank you for um, joining. Hopefully you enjoyed. Um, let me know if you've tried to make these or if you've got a similar recipe with a different ingredients or something. Um, I'm really interested. I love making treats for the dogs. Um, if you enjoyed, please hit like. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.